want to tell you guys. I want to tell you guys a story about a stumbling block in the Bible, and it comes from somebody named Samson, who was a king. And it starts off to say, sometime later he fell in love with a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. The rulers of the Philistines went to her and said, see if you can lure him into showing you the secret of his great strength and how we can overpower him so that we may tie him up and subdue him. Now this king right here, he was very strong. Samson was the strongest man in the world. He, before this, he slept with a prostitute and then they said they were gonna kill him and he took the doors off the building, the whole city, and he put them on his back and he put them on top of a hill. That's how strong this guy is. It's like he can lift up this, this whole park, dog, yeah. And he, and he had long hair on top of it. I want you to keep that in mind. Verse 5, verse 16 says, Wet which with such nagging she prodded him every day, which she bothered him every day until he was tired to death. So she, you, you heard the rulers wanted wanted him to wanted her to give the the find the secret of him so they can so they can bound him. He was so strong and mighty. So she nagged him every day. What's what's your secret? What's your secret? What is it that what is it that makes you that that that, that gives you this this great strength? And um, so he told her everything. He gave her his heart. No razor has ever been on my head, he said, because I have been a Nazarite set apart from God since birth. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me, and I would become as weak as any other man. When Delilah saw that he had told her everything, she sent the word to the rulers, to the Philistines, saying, come back once more. He was told, he told me everything. So the rulers of the Philistines returned with the silver in their hands, having put him to sleep on their lap, and she called the man to shave off the braids of his hair. And so began to subdue him. They, they started to chain him up. And, and, and his strength left him. He became weak. Then she called, Samson, this Philistines are upon you. And he woke up out of his sleep. And he says, I'll go as before and shake, shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had left him. Then the Philistines seized him because he, he was weak. His head was shaped. And they gouged his eyes out. They took out his eyes. And, and they took him down to Gaza, binding him with, uh, with uh, chains and bronze shackles, they set him grinding into the prison. But their hair on his head began to grow after. Now, I want to tell you something. The definition does not say a block that makes you stumble because circumstances in our life hold us back to the next level of having a relationship with God and in the end of its process destroys us. That is why it isn't just a thing. That's, that, that is why it's not just a block that you trip over. It's because some things in your life hold you back from that one thing with God, and that's and that's a personal problem. And that's and that's something and that's something we have to consider. We can't just say, oh, I can't do this because I've been doing this. I can't I can't do this because I've been doing drugs. I can't go to church because it's something that starts in the heart and it ends in the head. If you saw the story of Samson and Delilah and you think about it, it applies to the stumbling blocks in your lives. It, it takes your heart. You guys loved it. Samson loved Delilah. You, it's something you love that, that takes you down. It's something that affects you. It's something that, that you give it, that you tell your secrets to, that, that you're one with. And it's something that really holds you back from that next level with God that He wants you to have. So my question to each one of you is, what's your stumbling block? What, what, what is it that holds you back to that, from going on the next level, from, from go, just taking that step to being one-on-one -on -one with God? What, what, what is it? Hold on, hold on. What, what is it? What, what, what's holding you? What, what's the stumbling block? Is, is it drugs? It starts off, remember, it starts off with drugs, but it's really in the heart. It's something that you have to pray. It's the stumbling block. And it's something God wants to relieve you so you can get closer to Him. And, and, he, and he wants to do it today, starting today, not next week. Because as you see, Samson and Delilah, it was a process. So basically, it's, it's something that holds you down for a long time. So you have to let it go. Today is the day to let it go, to change. Today is change. And if you want that, I want you to pray with me these words, okay? Is everyone ready? Lord God in heaven, Lord there's God something in, in my heart, and it's holding me back from being one-on-one -on -one with you, Lord Jesus. Lord God, I want to get rid of it, Father God, so I can draw closer to you, Lord Jesus. Lord God, forgive me, Lord God, for putting that in front of you, Lord Jesus. Help me to break it, Lord. I pray the enemy back off, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, so I can get one-on-one -on -one with you, Father God. I'm tired of being held down by this, Lord Jesus. It's every day, God. I want to get closer to you, but there's something about this that keeps holding me back, Father. Help me, Lord Jesus, to fight this, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen.